بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نرحب فيكم في المحاضرة رقم خمسة في الاوبتمايزيشن اليوم بدنا نتكلم عن يعني نستعرض بعض الديفينيشنز عن المينيما وبعض الامور المتعلقة فيها اوكي فرح نبدا في ديفينيشن اوف مينيما Okay. What is strong minimum? The point, the point X star is a strong minimum of f of x if a scalar delta greater than zero exists such that f of x star less than f of x star plus delta of x for all delta of x such that delta greater than the norm of delta of x greater than zero. Okay, so we call this as strong minimum. There is a small, there is a delta scalar value going in all directions, where if you go in further a little bit by delta from x star, then this f of x will will be greater than f of x star. Okay, you can look at this like this one here. Is our x star, and you can see that you have here some delta going here and here too, with a certain delta. And you can see that if you move to this side or this side by delta, then f of x star plus delta plus this delta x is uh, greater than f of x star. Actually, you can you can move up to to here. And then if, if you go beyond this value, if you go here, then this one is lower than x star. So this is why we call it a strong minimum, but it's not a global. Actually, this is what we call a local minimum. Okay, let's, let's define the other ones. In, in other words, if we move away from a strong minimum small distance in any direction The function will increase. So this is the <laughs> definition of strong minimum. What is a global minimum? Global minimum, the point X star is a unique global minimum of f of x put 
to mention that this is a vector x star. If f of x star less than f of x star plus delta x for all delta x not equal to zero. So whatever delta x is large or small, it's once you are adding any value to fx, then you have f of x plus this delta is greater than f of x. Not only in a certain, in a neighborhood by delta here. So the strong minimum is, could be global or local minimum. Okay, what is the third definition is the weak minimum. Weak minimum, the point x star is <coughs> a weak minimum of f of x if it is not a strong minimum and a scalar delta greater than zero exists such that f of x star less than or equal f of x star plus delta x for all delta x such that delta greater than the norm of delta x greater than zero. So here we have the equality, greater than or equal. But for the strong minima, this one has, don't, doesn't have the equality here. So the difference between weak minimum and strong minimum is that this f of x could be less than or equal f of x plus x star, okay? I think here you can imagine that here is the, the weak minimum if, if you have something like this. If you like going down and then you have a constant and then you're going up like this. So you have all this distance are considered as minimum values. So we have a constant here at the minimum for certain delta. So f of x star if your if x star is here, so if you go in this direction or in this direction within delta, you still have f of x star equals to f of x star plus delta of x. Okay, so those are the definition of different, those are the definitions of different minimum, strong minimum, global minimum, and weak minimum. Okay, let's take some examples and see how we are going to, to see or to find the minimum. As an example, consider the following. function 
f of x equals to 3 x to the power 4 minus 7 x squared minus 1 half x plus 6. This function has the graph or the plot like this. something like this. So we have here at this point, which is 1.1 and here is 1.37 and here is minus 1.1 and this one is 2.47. So this is our global minimum. And this one here is a local. It's a strong minimum, but it's a local minimum. Local strong minimum. Okay, local strong minimum. Uh, please, as an as a practice or as an exercise. As an exercise, uh, plot this function using MATLAB and show the minimum. Uh, when you plot this uh, this function, take the region of x belongs to minus two and two. Okay, minus two and two. Okay, exercise number two. So this, I will we call this exercise number one. So consider f of x equals to x2 minus x1 to the power four plus eight x1, x2 minus x1 plus x2 plus 3. Okay, so this is a a 3D surface plot. Do plot it using MATLAB. Find the or plot the contour, sorry, plot the contour. curves of f of x and when I said level curves it means that you find you let f of x equal constant and then plot the figure change the constant plot the figure and 
find the level curves of the contour or the contour plot, which is a series. Sorry. of curves along which the function values remains constant. Constant. Okay, this function has a local minimum at minus point four two and point four two and a global minimum and a global minimum at 0.55 minus 0.55 there is also Another interesting feature it's another interesting feature of this function at minus point thirteen and Point thirteen it is called the setting point it is characterized by the fact that along the line x1 equals minus x2 The saddle point is a local maximum but along But along a line orthogonal to that line, it is a local minimum. Okay, so we have an interesting point here, which is the saddle point. The saddle point is exactly the same as the saddle. The saddle in Arabic is uh, who is serge. Uh, it means that in some point you have a curve like this, and 
you have also from the other side a curve like this. So this is going up from one side. Let me just try to draw it. So this one going there from here and here. So this is like a saddle. And you like the surge in khil. مكان ما بكون قاعد وحاطط اجريه الفارس بتكون هذه ماكسيموم لكن من قدام ومن من امامه ومن الخلف بتكون عباره عن مينيموم اذا بتتخيل السرج تبع الحصان ممكن تتخيل انه this point here is maximum for this and it's minimum for this so this is called the saddle point we will discuss it later how to to figure out if this is a minimum, global minimum, local minimum, or a saddle point, we will see how to do that. Okay, for here, for this exercise, please also, as a practice, draw or plot, plot. Okay, I'm gonna, as I'll do those as practice, So plot the MATLAB, plot the contours, show that you have a local minimum here, you have a global minimum here, and you have a saddle point here, okay? Try to figure out, plot the 3D, and move the angle and see how you, things are from different orientations, okay? Um, I couldn't draw this very well, but uh, if you imagine it at Khayalit Inta, كيف شكل السرج كيف السرج لما بيكون على جوانب الخيل وكيف راح يكون من امامه ومن خلفه السرج من جوانب الخيل راح تكون المكان ما بيقعد الفارس هو الماكسيمم بوينت بالنسبه لقدميه لكن بالنسبه لامامه ولخلفه هي عباره عن مينيمم بوينت اوكي عشان هيك بسموها هم السادل بوينت فاز ا براكتس بليز دو ذس اكسرسايز اولسو اوكي Uh, the last exercise here is exercise three and consider f of x equals to x1 squared minus 1.5 x1 x2 plus 2 x2 squared. The whole thing is multiplied by x1 squared. So here we have or we can see that any point along the line x1 equals 0 is a weak minimum. Also as practice here, plot or plot the 3D figure. 3D of f of x using MATLAB. And also plot the contours. of f of x for you know all of them do it for x1 belongs to minus 2 and 2 and also x2 belongs to minus 2 and 2 the same thing is here so this one plotted for x1 belongs to minus 2 and 2 and x2 belongs to minus 2 and 2 Okay, 
do those, make sure that you understand what is the weak minima and why it is at x equals x1 equals 0. If you apply x1 equals 0, then you have f of x equals 0, which is the minimum, and for any value of x. So it's not one single value, it's a line of values, okay? Series of values, infinite number of values. This is why we call it a weak minimum, not global or strong minimum, okay? Okay, so enough from minimum right now. We will, uh, okay, I will thank you for the time being, and I will see you in the next section talking about uh, necessary conditions for optimality. Okay, so our next lecture will be about necessary conditions for optimality, and we will see you then. Thanks.